just like, how do we take that energy? Do we take it internally and we think we're bad? If we do, this is a part of the unconscious woundedness inside of you. And it is a beautiful moment that has arrived to help you to heal and to find that alignment. So don't ever feel bad if things get really gross and yucky in your life and you just feel like what many call the dark night of the soul and you just feel confused and lost and something just doesn't feel right. Be excited about that because that means something is bubbling up to the surface. Some part of you, you've kept very well hidden. It's coming up. And if you just allow it to come up and you look at it and you face it, you can clear it out vibrationally. And then you can align with everything you really want. Everything you desire to create will be possible. So any other questions? I hope that helped Gabby. It's all yours. Nothing else. Okay. So yeah, I hope that helps you, Gabby. Um, <clears throat> I am going to offer everybody that's watching today. I'm going to do a 24 hour offer and I'm not a very salesy person, but I've just observed how like I tend to be pretty easygoing girl and just like, Oh, just call me when you're ready. Let me know when you're ready. But I feel that Sometimes people need a little nudge. And so what I felt today on my walk come through me as an inspiration is in the next 24 hours. So if you contact me before midnight tomorrow, I am going to offer anybody that contacts me a half off session. So you can either have one session with me or you can sign up for three sessions, whatever, whatever package deal you go for. I will give you a 50% discount one time only because this is my nudge for you to come and connect with me and let me help you. So if you've been using the excuse of I can't afford it or I don't know, I don't have enough time, it's time for you to stop that and really look into, do you feel like you're ready? Are you ready for shifts? If you are, I'm going to generously offer you that discount and I know that it's going to help you in amazing ways. And then if you feel it's helping you in amazing ways and you want to continue to work with me, so be it. But I just want to offer that to any of you that would like it. And you can pretty much go to my website. I think they can see my website, right, Amnon, when they're on the show? Yes, right I think down, so. Yep. Okay. Well, it's basically the Tanya Angel, T-A-W-N-Y-A, angel555.com. And it's my angel blog. And if you can, well, I know you can. If, I would encourage you to go to that angel blog and go and follow me. Because anytime I have an offer or I have some new spiritual inspiration come through i share it on that angel blog so if you can take a moment and just go follow me on there and as well as follow me on on um, youtube under the tanya love i think it's just under tanya love you can find my yep. name and then follow me that's how you'll keep in touch with me and so that way in case today you just randomly came across the show that'll keep you in touch with me and i would love to work with you i would love to assist you uh, I can assist you with work, angelic work clearings remotely and in person. I can do soul coaching over the phone or over Skype, and it's really powerful, and I love what I do. I It's my passion to help others really step into their power and to live liberated lives, and I've had so many clients that I've worked with, like New Jersey, Texas, you name it. I've connected with clients remotely, and they've had amazing, profound shifts. So I'm going to offer that for all of you. And just to kind of get our show to a conclusion here, um, I'm going to encourage you all this week to really go into nature more and be quiet because a lot of you, you're not going to be able to know what that inspired part of yourself is in all the busy, loud places that you hang out all the time in this chattery world. So do, you know, do the Give yourself a, I cannot talk right now, do yourself a favor and go into nature and just have some quiet time with spirit and, you know, just go for a walk and tune in and talk to your angels. Even if you're kind of new to the concept, you have angelic assistance, just ask them to show you they're there. Ask them for signs and ask them to illuminate your path, to show you the path to your highest well-being. Thank them for bringing you the teachers and the helpers and the assistants. And thank, you thank them for clearing your path of all the obstacles and clearing your body of all the fear and insecurities. And watch what happens as you start to really ignite this energy and this, this dialogue with spirit. 
your life is going to change in amazing ways. And who knows, maybe one day you'll be leading a show, inspiring others. So, you know, really tune in and feel what's my passion. What is it that I'm ready to do? What is it that I'm ready to manifest? And what do I need to do to get there? And then listen to that intuition and take the action to make that change because no one's going to take it for you. And if you keep focusing where you've been, you keep focusing on the lack, you keep focusing on the fear, you're going to keep getting it. So dare to shift that focus and dare to really know and trust that you are worthy right now and that you deserve amazing goodness. You can make it happen. You can manifest it. You can call it in, but you need to clear out this stuff unconsciously that's telling you otherwise. So I want you to just be really aware this week, like pay attention to your thoughts when you're out and about and you're just excited about something. And then you get in that still place where, you know, some opportunity just came and then the inner chatter is like, Oh my God, I don't think I'm worthy. Oh my God. I'm so freaked out. Like <laughs> what if they don't like me? I don't think I'm ready. And so this like panicky dialogue will start to happen. I want you to just catch that and pay attention to it. Don't argue with it or, you know, try to make it not happen, but just observe that chatter inside of you and get to know like, wow, there's that ego. There's that wounded part of myself. I'm ready to clear that. Okay. Not true. Now coming back to self-love, I am worthy. I am ready. I am beautiful. I am deserving. And so I want you to focus on that shift through your week. That's some baby steps you can take. And then if you're ready to have an intuitive healer help you in amazing ways, contact me and we'll work together. So uh, I just want to... Let's, yep. let's see if you have time to answer one quick one. Sure, go for it. My straw is asking, <clears throat> what about things that you can't see that are in your field? Like your what? past? Okay, what, what was the question? What about things that you can't see that are in your field. I don't know. That are in your field? Yeah. Things you can't see, but they're in your field. Like your past. Oh, you know, he's asking okay. your past? Yes. Okay, so that's a, that's a great example of the unconscious aspects that need to be addressed. So you may have things that you can't even remember, but you feel them come up vibrationally because you have issues with abandonment. You have issues with um, betrayal. You have issues with not being good enough. And so this, even if you can't remember where the trigger happened, and it most likely happened in your past, you can feel how it keeps coming around as a record. Like it's a pattern that plays out. So in, if your relationships keep going bad because you have a fear of abandonment, then you most likely are causing um, drama to push those people away before they can push you away. That would be a good example of how you can see, like once you want to be awake and really look at your own life, you could be like, wow, I have caused all that chaos and damage. And I forgive myself and I forgive my parents. I forgive my mom for abandoning me or whoever. However, you took that situation, forgiving it and releasing it. And then you can be really honest with yourself about that. You can see like, wow, I've had this going on for a long time and I'm ready to clear that away. I'm deserving. I'm lovable. I am enough. I'm worthy. I deserve a beautiful relationship. I deserve someone who is going to be there for me. And then you can call that in and say yes to it. Because some of you, you've called things in when you really want them. They come close and then you think you're not worthy of them and you will push those people away. And that's part of the journey. It's part of our learning and how we grow. And there's a lot to be done in forgiveness where it, forgiveness doesn't mean we have to go hang out with people that hurt us. But I have learned the power of forgiveness is something, it's a gift that you give yourself because if another person really hurts you and they betray you, that's about them. It's not about you. It's about you vibrationally. And it's something that you need to clear because it's they're They're like an actor that came along to poke you in that wound so that they bring it to the surface and help you see it. So when we can see these characters in our movie, like little actors that come along just to help us see our stuff, we don't have to take it so personal and be so angry at them. We just be like, wow, 
thanks for helping me see that. Like, dang, I, I hope that doesn't come again. And so we clear that vibrationally. And then next time, after we've cleared it, we're like putting out that vibe that we'd like to have a, a beloved come into our life. And they come, and this time we don't sabotage things. We don't go and align with people who we can clearly tell don't love us or respect us. And that's a big part of it. If you're someone that's got abandonment issues, uh, ironically, you'll go and make alliances with people who will abandon you. If you're someone who has uh, energy issues with betrayal, ironically, you will go hang out with the very people that you can tell right away, like, I just don't trust them. And I had to learn the hard way about that. And what you need to do is just learn from it, clear it, forgive yourself, forgive them, forgive your parents. Like so many of us have a lot of woundedness that we attach to our parents. And it's time to forgive that because in order to be empowered and liberated, you got to take away all the blame. You got to take away everyone you're blaming. Stop blaming God. Stop blaming the government. Just take that focus of that pointed finger and just turn it boop right there and go look in the mirror and just get to know yourself and get to know what's going on inside of you and heal that and clear that and just watch the most beautiful life that you will manifest with that alignment. So again, thank you guys so much. Is there any other questions, Namnon, before we say goodbye? No. Nope. Tigger is saying, oh, that is a script from the past. Nice. Yes, pay attention to those scripts from the past because it's important to clear those. The past is over. This morning I literally woke up and I was just looking at my beloved and just looking around the house and, you know, my room. And it was just one of those moments like you're just like happy. And I was just so grateful and I'm looking at him and I was just like, I am so happy with this moment. And the song by Jordan Sparks. It was in my mind, um, if you guys want to Google it later, but it's a song by Jordan Sparks called This Is My Now, and I shared it on Facebook after, but that song was playing in my mind, and I was just looking around, and it's like, this is my now. I, the past is over, and we don't oh, need to play those records of the past anymore. We don't need to carry around that baggage of the people that hurt us. Let it go. You know, learn from it. If you're going to do anything with the energy of your past, take it in as a gift Keep the wisdom, keep the love, and let the drama go. Let all the pain go. Heal yourself, clear yourself of all that past pain, and just start to see how far you'll soar and take off when you become lighter. We just we all need to lighten up. Like so many of us that are struggling on this planet, it's from sometimes lifetimes of pain that we're carrying around. It's time to clear that pain. And that is what I have given my soul mission on this planet that is my dedication is to assist any souls who are courageous enough to do their work and to stop procrastinating. I am here to help you. So make that step, take it, stop procrastinating and watch how your life becomes exactly what you're ready for it to be. And you're the one in charge. You are absolutely the one that is powerful and capable and can do this. So thank you guys so much. I look forward to tuning in next week and I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day. Namaste. You are tuned to the Nissan Communications Network. Our weekly lineup of call-in programs includes Computers 2K Now with Amnon Nissan, Help In with Debbie Brooke, Breaking Free with Marilyn Shannon, Lessons of Vietnam with NCVBI members, The Tanya Love Show, Reawaken Your Brilliance with Julie Seibert, and if you tuned in too late, you can always watch each program in its entirety or download an MP3 audio file of it at www.nissancommunications.com. Sponsored by Atomus.com, makers of quality video recorders and converters for professionals. That vidblasterguy.com, carolinaapparel.com, and deltaforce.net. Thank you.